Joining me now is the Bonson Group Managing Director, David Bonson. It's been a rough week for stocks this week, certainly, David. And even though you're talking about very good gains year to date, uh, Neil Kashkari sort of threw a little wrench in the party this week by saying, sure, I have penciled in two rate cuts, but there's also a possibility that there will be no rate cuts at all. Your reaction? Yeah, Neil likes to get that attention. I will say this. You started off the year with the market believing there were going to be six rate cuts this year. It's down to three. We started the year believing it would start in March. Then the market now believes it'll start in June or July. And yet markets are still up anywhere from six to 10 percent on the year. Um, The Fed is not the key driver in the market. The Fed is not the key driver in the economy. And this deification of the Fed, where we make them God of the economy, has got to stop. There are forces that are driving economic activity far more important than the central bank. David, no matter how you look at it, the headline looks good. 303,000 jobs created in the month of March. Uh, Your thoughts on what you saw in this jobs report this month? Yeah, I think the jobs report was fantastic. I think the data point that continues to not lie is weekly jobless claims. There's all these different theories about how healthy the jobs number is. But if we really had a problem of people not finding jobs, people would be filing for unemployment. And they're not, whether they're citizens or not. I think the issue with our economy, for me, is not the job side. It's that Biden wants to tax more, wants to spend more, that we've added so much to deficits. It's four presidents in a row now that we've seen this national debt explode, that takes away from future economic growth, and we can't treat it by taxing people more. So I, as a supply sider, just simply believe that we need to let the economy work on its own, and everything they're doing to take away future economic growth is unforgivable. All right. We will leave it there. Gentlemen, great conversation. So appreciate your time this weekend.